Well, hello again. Welcome back. It is me, Cyrus, and this is a new series that I'm starting. The best NES games. And we're going to be looking at some shoot 'em ups Today, we're looking at one of my all-time favorite old-school shoot 'em ups with some personal nostalgias on my part. Just a really cool shoot 'em up um, that I've thoroughly enjoyed over the years, although it is extremely difficult. But there's a solution to that. But uh, what game am I talking about? I'm talking about a game called Abadox. Abadox is a really cool NES shoot 'em up. Um, I picked this up super cheap back in the day. This is one of those budget titles that I found uh, at uh, a video game rental store. They were selling some of their games and this is one of the games that I picked up. This was back in like 1990 maybe, 91, something like that. And I was looking for cheap NES games and I found this one. And what a find it was because Abadox is really awesome. This is a shoot 'em up that uh, basically you go inside this giant monster, this giant planet-like monster. Like, it's like the death stomach, you know? It's not the death star. It's a giant mouth. Um, it's like the meat version of Unicron. So yeah, you're flying around, you're a little dude in a suit, you got a gun. Uh, every time you shoot, you're like picking. I don't know for some reason, but it looks cool. And you have to fight all these little monsters, these space alien monster like uh, things that are like, some of this is like, see like there's spaceships that are crashed into the side of it. There's uh, all these weird creatures around. Some of these are, I guess are supposed to be like parasites. Some of which are like the defense mechanisms of the creature itself. Uh, yeah, look, there, giant Saturn in the background. That's cool looking. But yeah, so you're, you're flying through this giant monster in space. And you can get some pretty good power-ups. You can see I've, you know, got some of that already here. I, I'm recording this audio later after I've played through this because I died a lot. Um, this particular session that you see here is not edited other than it wasn't the first session. <laughs> um, but there's no edits yet. I'll let you know when that happens because it, there's a situation we'll have to talk about with that. This game's hard. But yeah, I just really like the, uh, the aesthetic, the like survival horror theme, you know. There's a few shooters that sort of have this type of theme going. There's this one, there's Life Force, you know, Salamander, uh, which is another one of my favorite shooters, by the way, on the NES. Most people don't really think of the NES as being like a shoot 'em up powerhouse, like a shooter powerhouse. When I think of like really awesome shoot 'em up consoles, like consoles that are known for their shooters, I think of obviously the PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16. Uh, I think of like the Sega Saturn. I might even think the Super Nintendo a little bit and the Genesis before I got to the NES. <laughs> I don't particularly associate the NES with being just a really awesome shoot 'em up console. Although, maybe I should because there are quite a few on this system that I really like and have really enjoyed over the years. And Abadox definitely fits that bill. Just really good graphics, really detailed graphics. And by the way, I am playing this through RetroArch and it was kind of a pain to get this thing set up to where I didn't have video shimmering and distortion. The detail level in this game wreaks havoc with the scaler for retro art. So if you're trying to play this game without any kind of shimmer or any kind of distortion in the detail from the scaling, uh, yeah, hit me up. We can talk about that because I had to tinker with it quite a bit to get it to do what I wanted it to do. 
and I'm not, I'm still not 100% happy with what I have to do to accomplish that. Um, I won't go into a lot of detail about it, but I will say that uh, I have to run this off of my PlayStation Classic uh, in um, integer scaled uh, native square pixel mode. <laughs> and then I have to manually stretch the image to 4x3 mode in OBS. So the screen that I'm playing this on, it's not 4x3. It's like 8x7 resolution or something like that, which is fine. It just looks a little weird. Um, and I had to manually stretch it to 4x3 here. So anyway, non-important weird details, but there it is. This is a really cool boss. This reminds me of something out of like Nightmare on Elm Street or something. Um, I just really like this type of stuff in, in games. And, you know, Abadox is really cool. If you like uh, old school, like, uh, shooters that have like some gross looking stuff, it's pretty cool. They, the, the animation, right there, you can see how like the flesh on the side of the walls is like pulsating. Um, it's cool. It, it's really cool. There's a lot of detail in this for an NES game. I think it's pretty impressive. I also like that there's different uh, perspectives. Like, we've been side-scrolling up to this point, and now we have, like, a vertical mode. So, Abadox has quite a bit going on here. You know, you got your different types of gameplay modes, different types of graphics. Uh, it, it's cool. It actually changes the game up and keeps it pretty fresh as you're going. So I really like the fact that they implement some of these things to give you like, uh, just keep you on your toes, basically. Keep the game interesting and challenging. Because, yeah, I haven't... This is There's been no edits yet. And uh, you're probably not going to see any edits here because... I, yeah, oh, there is an edit coming up. Hang on. There's an edit right up here. We'll see. Okay, so I died. And then it took me several tries to get back to that guy. So this is an edit. This right here. A few hundred tries later. Um, so yeah, we'll get back to that boss. And I'm going to uh, try to fight that crazy looking boss. And uh, then we'll talk about what we're going to do after that, because this is a really cool game and I want to show it to you, but it's also very difficult. And I was beating my head against a brick wall for about an hour trying to get past the next section after this boss. And I was not able to do that. So we're going to do that as I'm recording this in just a minute. But in order to do that, we're going to cheat because Abadox, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, has cheat codes. So, yeah, you can enter a cheat code to get um, a stage select in vulnerability, and you can restore your weapons and your shields just by pausing the game and unpausing it. So, yeah. But I was able to at least defeat this boss without doing that, without cheating. So I wanted to go as far as I could without cheating. But after this boss, it just got, look at this. I barely got it and then I died right there. So there you go. All right. So anyway, here we are. Here's the game. I've got us back at the same spot where the boss is, except now I'm invulnerable and I have uh, all the weapons. So let's go. Let's, let's play some of this game. Yeah. A little bit easier when you can't die. So this, I'm going to look, you can see right here, this is really, it starts to get really difficult. And I memorized all the patterns up to this spot, you know, spot here, what I would need to do to not get killed. Come down here. Of course, I didn't have all these power-ups. That definitely helped. But right around here, this is where I just kept dying over and over. So, 
yeah. I, of course, I'm not claiming to have beaten this game without cheating. I don't believe that I ever have. If you have, that's a hell of an accomplishment. You should be proud of that. I don't believe that I ever have. I like the way those arms come out. That looks really cool. Look, I can pause it and unpause it and I get all my stuff back. All my little shields and everything. That's pretty cool. I'm so glad they decided to include the cheat mode because there's no way. Look at this guy. This big old eyeball shooting all this stuff out. That's cool looking. Lots of animation. Look at all the animation on the screen. That's ridiculous. That's, that's really cool. And I like the music in this game too, by the way. It has really nice music and sound effects and everything. Okay, back to side scrolling. Now we have to fight white blood cells. And plants of some kind. Get our stuff back again. And I am using turbo on the controller, by the way. I guess I should mention that. I didn't really mention it before. Some kind of fish. It's like a shark with freaking lasers coming out of its head. Oh yeah. I like that one. It's just so gross looking. <laughs> I bet this place stinks to high heaven. Can you imagine what it smells like inside this place? Thank God our dude is wearing a protective suit. Very creative game. I don't know why this game is called Abadox. What's up with that? It's a strange name, don't you think? Where'd they come up with that name? Oh, look at this guy. Wow, that's creepy. Ugh. It's like something off the... You know what? It looks like the artwork you would see on a carnival ride. <laughs> like the House of Horrors carnival ride on the outside of it from the 1980s <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> oh, here we go. Back to top-down shooter mode. I always like when games mix things up like that. Life Force did the same thing. It would mix up the perspective. Contra did that too. It's pretty cool. Oh, I like the graphics on these little bubble things. Those are cool looking. Oh, they latched onto me. Sheesh. That was unpleasant. I bet this place stinks. You can tell just by looking at it, this place really stinks. Oh, what is this thing? That's creepy. I 
Thank God I'm invincible. Die, stink bug. Look at that thing. Ew, man, that's some good detail, though. It's amazing. It's a lot of animation going on right there. Look at that. That's cool looking. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's cool looking. Oh, now we're going into like the spaceship part of it. this without cheating. Well, those are like aliens or something. I got like that alien head going. Xenomorphs. Oh, look at this. That's cool looking. I like the way they did that. That's good. That's cool graphics, man. I, I like that. I like that kind of stuff. You know, I like, like, uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh, in Batman on NES. There's, like, all these sections where, like, this electricity will, like, shoot across the screen and stuff. I love that kind of stuff. It just looks really cool. It's, like, a nice little detail. It's the little things, you know? The little things. Oh, look! It's Rob the Robot! I don't want to play Gyromite! You can't make me! Good lord. Th look at this. How could you do this without cheating? You have to, like... How would you even do this? Sheesh. His head comes off too. That's cool. I wonder why they never made another one of these, like a sequel to Abadox. It'd be cool to have a 16 bit version or. Oh, that's cool looking too. Look at that. These guys really did some good work for the NES here. This is some good graphics, man. Um, oh, I'm trapped. He's got me again. Oh, 
Oh, and it smashes the enemies too? That's cool. Okay, let's see what this enemy is. Bunch of eyeballs. Get off me. Oh man, those things keep getting on me. Yeesh. I think this might be it. Might be coming up on the end here. Wow, look at that guy. That's creepy. about this so you have to like you can't like shoot or anything you just have to try to escape if, can, there's no way I could do this oh my god without cheating forget it there's no way I would be so dead there's no way I could do this there's, I mean, I don't know how anybody could do this. That's, imp that's impossible. Cool ending, man. Cool story, bro. It's not a super long game, but it seems like it is because it's just damn near impossible. You will seriously beat your head against the brick wall trying to beat this game. If you happen to be somebody who has beat this game, if somehow, some way, you've figured out all the patterns and memorized all the stuff and you just had the best hand-eye coordination and you were able to figure out how to beat this game without cheating, you need to let me know, because I, I, I will I will be very impressed if that is the case. Abadox is extremely difficult, but I think it is one of the best shooters on the NES. It's one that I've enjoyed. I, I loved having this cartridge back in the day, even though I, like I said, it's very, very difficult. Um, but it's also a lot of fun. And after you've tried to play through it a few times and you kind of get frustrated, you can throw those cheat codes on and just go to town and have a great time just blowing stuff up, getting your revenge on all these impossible levels. I will tell you though, if you are able to beat this game without cheating, uh, if you beat the game, when the game starts up again, until you hit reset, you're invincible in the game. So you don't have to cheat to get invincibility in this game, but you do have to beat the game 
without cheating. So anyway, um, that's Abadox. One of my favorite Nintendo shooters. One of my favorite NES shoot 'em up games. A game that I highly recommend that you play if you have not played it. Because it's a lot of fun and a really cool game. So I'll have more videos coming. We'll continue this series and uh, exp I'll probably expand this into other things as well. But uh, we're just going to have some fun taking a look at some of the best NES shoot 'em ups. This one was Abadox. Thanks so much, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye bye.